Hello, this is Bloom Perfumery. Today we had an interesting conversation with a customer. She was in a mood for a new perfume, but before we hit upon the right track, uh, we tried quite a few options with her. She started with clean and musky, and we tried quite a few perfumes which correspond to that description. Uh, until uh, we actually exhausted everything that would fit into that uh, request and just started trying things at random well still within the clean woody uh, domain and actually it turned out she was really really keen on bittersweet uh, perfume language or the ways we describe perfumes uh, are quite limited. Vocabulary to uh, describe scents is made of words we use for flavors, colors, textures, sensations and moods. We can say a happy smooth smell or perfume or we can say uh, gothic and dark. Again, trying to convey what the perfume is about. So back to bittersweet. Bittersweet can be uh, a nuance you would get from several materials and I will recommend quite a few uh, directions you can explore if you like that nuance. Probably start with orange blossom. Orange blossom is the finer fraction of the orange blossom flowers. It's not Niroli, which is derived with steam, it's Absolu, which gets extracted with volatile chemicals. So it's a much finer and much richer oil uh, of that flower. And the olfactive profile of that oil would be, of course, bittersweet. It's reminiscent of Niroli, and it only smells uh, citrusy, green and bitter at the same time. But at the same time, uh, orange blossom is a much more honeyed uh, material compared to its sister or younger brother Niroli. And we have a very good perfume which represents or is made with orange blossom and utilizes its bittersweet glory very well. It's Kirvininum, poisonous leather, by Parfumerie Generale. And I absolutely love the dark malachite color, which comes from other materials, not orange blossom. Another option, if you like bittersweet nuance, is of course almond. Very common and most probably widely used material to achieve that effect. Compared to orange blossom, almond would give you a much more gourmand and powdery bitter sweetness or sweeter bitterness. And we have a very good, actually a best-selling uh, perfume called Tardis, which you can translate from Spanish as lazy afternoon. And it's a rose, but it's a very tender relaxed rose and probably it's mixed in equal proportions with almond so you can expect sweetness and at the same time the bitterness you get from the smell of almonds and it's much more powdery compared to what you would get from an orange blossom uh, perfume and one more uh, Path you can take in your search of the ultimate bittersweet perfume is resins such as Toll and Peru. They come from the same tree which grows somewhere in the Caribbean. Toll would be uh, derived um, by the following way people cut uh, bark of the tree and when it starts oozing the resin it's collected and it becomes tall balsam. Also
also those trees are sometimes stripped of the bark and that bark gets boiled and product of that process becomes pero balsam. And bulk materials are wonderfully, amazingly rich in what they smell of, could be reminiscent of coffee, amber, something resinous, almost balsamic, honey, caramel, and we have a very good example of the use of tall. It's another perfume from Perfumeria Generale called Almasai. Luca Turin called it the uh, olfactive equivalent of bitter flavor. If we want to create the ultimate bitter in terms of smell, he thinks it's the best example or one of the best examples. And in Almasai, perfume we use a stall which in this particular formula smells a lot of, like caramel but caramel is actually burnt sugar or brown sugar would be both bitter and sweet and this perfume is uh, all about that kind of gourmand, woody, uh, uh, bitter sweetness or sweet bitterness. So this is in short uh, are the options you can explore if you are in search of a mm, contrasting perfume, which a bittersweet perfume would be. And of course, we have probably a couple of dozens of options for orange blossom here on the shelves of Bloom. Uh, quite a few uh, perfumes with both tall and pero, an almond, to name a few, probably six off the top of my head. And they all mixed with different companions. You would have almond and flowers, almond and uh, gourmand, uh, things like cocoa, so on and so forth. So if you're interested, you're always welcome to visit us here in Covent Garden, in our boutique. Also, you can explore all these materials on our website. And hopefully see you soon. Thank you. Bye.